Well, when plans surfaced about possibly constructing a new Line 3 oil pipeline, law enforcement leaders came together. Knowing there would likely be pushback, they decided to create the Northern Lights Task Force. Our reporter Chris Burns has more on how this task force came about and what they plan to do. We have to take care of people. We need to respect people's rights. We need to tra train up and get ready and come up with a plan of how we're going to do this in the best way. That was the thought process for local law enforcement leading up to the construction of Line 3. The reason for assembling this task force was to avoid the scenes that were on display near the Dakota Access Pipeline in 2016. There was a concern that there was a lot of people's rights that were violated. You know, I didn't see it, but there was, there was concern that things didn't go well, and that created this energy of, you know, anti-law enforcement energy because things weren't handled in the correct way, or it got out of control somehow. I don't know what the, what the tipping point was, how it went from a, uh, a, you know, a pipeline construction to a movement, but it certainly did. You know, so we just knew that that was a, a not a good thing for everyone involved. Fifteen county sheriff's offices have joined the task force. Aiken, Crow Wing, and Beltrami, to name a few, all joined together to make sure everyone is on the same page. The benefit of creating this is to ensure they'll have enough staff to keep people safe. You know, we're a small department. We have 20 officers, counting the sheriff and the under sheriff. We have something happens and 4,000 people come to Aiken County, or 400 people come to Aiken County. How do we deal with that with our staff? Those relationships saying, hey, you know, I know I know the county to the East Crowing County, they have a big city in Brainerd and they have a big city Baxter and they have the sheriff's office, they have a large department, they have extra staff, you know, maybe we can call on them to help. Guida says he understands the protesters and wants them to know they're not there to fight them. The police are there to keep them safe. These are people that are coming up here because they want to express their rights. You know, they might get frustrated when there's not a lot of energy following them. But they're here to protect, them. we're here to protect their rights and they're here to, to protect our rights. They want to protect our clean water and they believe they're doing it in a manner that's uh, honoring to them. So we're here to protect them. He also says the protests have been mainly peaceful up to this point and he continues to try and invent new ways to keep the protesters safe. Reporting in Brainerd for Lakeland News, I'm Chris Burns. Sheriff Guida says they've created no parking areas to keep people from parking on busy roads construction trucks would generally use, and he has also implemented safe areas for the protesters to exercise their First Amendment rights. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.